What is up guys, Steven Detling here from DubC Studios 25 and the beta is winding down, this is the last day. You guys, it's kind of a sad time, but the beta's been pretty good, but this video I wanted to talk about the things that EA should change. I want to hear your guys' opinions, what you think about some of these things. I'm just going to talk about some of the gameplay problems that I've had, some things I've noticed, and I also wanted to talk about some of the stuff in the menus and stuff that particularly pertains to Hockey Ultimate Team, because that is what I spent the majority playing, that is what I will um be spending the majority playing uh in the actual game so that that is what i'm focused on this is for hockey ultimate team i don't know exactly how the other modes fared in the beta so just so you guys know that and so yeah let's get into it what i think so i'm going to start off with some of the gameplay things one thing i noticed is with scoring mainly i made a video how to score an nhl 17 beta and one thing I noticed that is gone is the short, snide, short side snipe, which you guys can do if you're taking slap shots, but um, when you're playing against the AI, they're really, really, they really crowd around in the slot. Like it, all five guys, you get into the slot, all five of their guys just converge and you can't, you don't really have enough time to take the slap shot that's necessary against the all-star goalie that you play online. So. What I'd like to see again is the little short side snipe you could do. You know, like if you did a wrap around around the net, came out into the slot and shot at short side, you could get that to go in pretty often. You could also, you know, get that going in on the rush or just moving it around in the zone, getting a goal. It's a lot harder to do now because of that AI that just swarms the center of the zone. So I don't know exactly. I mean, tone down that AI just converging. They, they basically when you turn up the difficulty, the AI just swarms you instantly, extremely fast. They get extremely effective poke checking, extremely effective stick checking, and it's just it's it's unfair. It seems it's. I mean, like I, I'm pretty decent at the game, so you know I found other ways to score and I I could get around it, but you know I don't think it's a very a very good you know AI system for defense how they just crowd in the center like that I'd like to see a little bit of an AI change there and it's because it's kind of annoying now the other thing that this also kind of falls into is one timers one timers are pretty much impossible to do now because of the net battles and you know if you're not you know if you're carrying the puck you can't be you know doing the net battle on the other way like in EASHL you know there are ways to counter the net battles but like in HUT you can't because you're only controlling your player and if your guy has the puck it's up to your AI to be doing the net battles and odds are they're just gonna sit there tied up for five minutes and then you, you know you're not gonna get that pass through so the AI is uh, net battles again on higher difficulties it's you, you cannot fight it it's really hard but again online it's a different story just like the previous thing I said online you can get those slap shots off generally because player real people play a bit differently than AI so generally you can get those slap shots off online and you can get a few one-timers off online as well but against the computer no dice so um the next thing about AI would be the penalties that they're taking on your team. Your guys take so many penalties. It's unreal. And you take penalties for elbowing all the time. And it's so unfair. It's ridiculous. You cannot do anything about it. You get an elbowing penalty. That's your AI's fault. You cannot do anything about it. It's really annoying. And like if you board pin a guy and you switch off the player because the guy kicks the puck out. Uh, guess what? Odds are your guys probably just gonna sit there and hold them against the boards and uh, get a penalty. And it's convenient that this always happens. You know, when you're up a goal or whatever, then they, you know, you get into a five on three because your own guys are tripping their guys. They're holding them against the boards. It's just, it's ridiculous. So I don't know. Get rid of that. That's so. That's really bad. If you switch a player off, if you're board pinning guy and you switch a player. You should instantly get off the guy that's on the board. Instantly move off of him. That needs to happen right now. And uh, yeah, that elbowing is ridiculous. That happens all the time. That needs to be tweaked a bit. Now the other thing I noticed, there's one more thing I noticed about actually playing in the game, is that whenever I would try to do the through the legs deke when you would hold the puck back and then, you know, click the left bumper or L1 and pull the puck through your legs, the guy would never catch it. It would just go sailing off through his legs, go sailing down the ice. And that... 
is a problem because in 16 you could do it all the time it worked perfectly and you know you'd lose it a few times you had a bad player but uh this game i'm using jonathan taves taylor hall um john klingberg duncan keith all these guys who got good hands and they're they cannot do that deke i i successfully did the deke probably twice out of trying to do it hundreds of times and it just it does not work so i don't know what's going on there with it i tried doing it at all different speeds tried holding it different you know angles back behind my guy try holding it right beside try holding it a little back try holding it all the way back and doing the deke still didn't work so i don't know what's going on it just doesn't work so fix that through the legs deke it's not working right now and so that's what i got for concerns about the gameplay it sounds like i hate the game i know but i, I really do enjoy it other than that it is a it is a fun game but those things with a little bit of tweaks a couple updates maybe even just one update and we're good to go a game's gonna be great I already have high hopes for the game. I'm just picking out a few things that I think could do better and the game would be solid. So now into the menus. Um, one thing I noticed with your with your sets, I would like an easier way to do complete sets. There should be a button that just says, like when you do the two players or the ten players for a rare player, it should just be send next lowest overall unselected player in your lineup and that should just go right to the set. You know what I'm saying? So like is you know any player that's unselected the lowest overall one on your list the crappiest player and you just want to send them to that set you should just be able to press a button send send done complete set then go to the, then do it again send send complete send send complete send send complete much faster it takes a really long time unnecessarily long to complete sets and that's kind of annoying now so the other thing is some in-game notification bugs like if you go off sides then the offsides little thing will come down and tell you're offside and then it'll stay there for like the next five minutes or till the next whistle and you don't really you don't know if you're offside you don't know what's going on or if you get an icing it says icing or like the icing warning will pop up and you'll be like what the hell i might be icing or you you see the offside warning still up there like say you don't look at it after you go offsides and then you see it again and you're like oh crap gotta hold the puck back but you really didn't and let's say they take the puck from you go down and score it's kind of annoying and then like a delayed penalty you don't know if a delayed penalty is going on. you don't know if it's on their team your team what's going on that's that needs to be those notifications can't stay after a whistle it should just be it should tell you what happens then it should go away right away i've noticed that happening a lot it happened in nhl 16 when the game first came out so uh again a recurring problem that needs to be fixed now the other thing is a menu bug where your uh, cursor scrolls really really quickly and this happens in NHL 16 so they still didn't get this fixed and I don't really know how to explain it it's like you press the stick over and it goes all the way over to like three more pages three tabs over and it's like that that should definitely not be happening you push it over once it should go over one item in the menu that's and then you gotta like turn off your controller or restart the game it's really annoying and now the final problem I have is the hut collection bug where that's what I'm uh, coining it is the <laughs> hut collection bug is kind of like where you you know you'll have a contract that needs to, or a guy that ran out of contract and you need to you know send a new one to him and so you do it and then failed to retrieve data kicks you out of the game or like say you go into your collection or you're gonna complete a set and it loads up a team like all your players in your collection are players you had three days ago players you don't even have right now and it's you know so you have to like buy a new item send it to your collection and then your collection will update again now that's kind of an issue if you don't have any coins because then what are you gonna do you gotta wait till the next day to get your coin bonus then buy something send it to the collection and, and get it fixed because even restarting the game for me it didn't fix it so I had to buy it like a uh, hundred dollar or a hundred coin player and throw them in but if you didn't have any coins you'd be screwed till the next day so it's it's pretty annoying or you'd have to sell one of your guys actually you couldn't sell one of your guys because all the people in the collection are things you don't even have so it's a problem that needs to be fixed look into it please EA other than that I do enjoy the game I really think it is a fantastic game it is much better than NHL 16 I'm really liking it I can't wait for the full game I'm gonna be buying it for sure I'm gonna be making videos on it for sure I'm gonna have one more video on the beta I'm gonna be opening some packs um, just seeing what I can grab before the beta ends 
and I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up with my hut team at the end of the beta and and that's what I'm gonna do so anyway that's what I think's going what I think is problematic in the game right now needs to be fixed other than that love the game you guys definitely buy it when it comes out it's gonna be great these up these little things they can be up fixed in an update and we're gonna be good to go so anyway thanks for watching the video guys let me know what you guys thought uh, the beta did right what it did wrong and uh, and just let me know and I'd appreciate that so if I if you uh, if you enjoyed the video please give me a like give me a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos if you want to and thank you guys I appreciate you taking out the time to watch the videos when they're coming out I really really appreciate all of you and uh, I would like to see you guys again and chat about the game and the NHL what's going on preseason for the Blackhawks starts October 1st so excited you guys so anyway Thanks for watching again for the 5,000th time. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys later. You'll have a great day. Enjoy the last day of the beta. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.